to find out he's destined to be a demon king, right? What that mean? Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chill in Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. Please good, holla squad, we are. <laughs> the Lit Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. And we have uh, Demon King Demo. Demo. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm pretty sure my, my guys over at Any Cap, they about to say it for us, so. You know what I'm saying? We're going to jump straight into this. My man became a demon king. He was trying to be a hero. What they do to my mans? Let's get it. Protagonist, <laughs> called Akuto Sai, is an orphan who was abandoned outside a church. For most of his life, he has been alone, but he has always had a dream. Today, that dream is one step closer to happening. Akuto is on his way to become a student at the Constant Magic Academy. On the train to the academy, he meets Junko Hattori. The two mm. connect and decide to make a promise together. They make a sacred pact that they will make this world a better place with their magic and their pact must not ever be broken. When Akuto okay. arrives at the academy, he is excited to begin his journey, with the main goal being to one day become a great healer. It is then when he is informed by one of the senior staff at healer. the academy that he is- Chat, chat, let me tell y'all something. If a girl tells you she's a healer, right? Follow her on Instagram immediately. Set the link up immediately, right? Destined to become an evil Don't demon ask me king. Why. From that moment, all the students <laughs> at the academy start avoiding Akuto because they fear him. During his first class, Akuto is attacked by fellow students who think he shouldn't be there. While all this is happening, mm. a boy of small stature called Hiroshi Miwa begins to admire Akuto. Besides Hiroshi, every student now fears Akuto even more than before. Akuto makes a mistake and he volunteers for a position in cleaning duty, without realizing that this is actually a way of becoming an assassin that helps hide the school's secrets. This alarms the students who think that Akuto is already turning evil. One of the students, Ooh, called Junko, decides it's time to beat hey, up Akuto, but like this that, doesn't boy. go as planned. Akuto loses control of his powers and causes a giant magical explosion which destroys the entire classroom. Akuto later tries to apologize to Junko and maybe repay her with taking her out for lunch, but she just goes crazy and decides to kill Akuto. She chases him through the woods and they run into a girl, called Kina Soga. She decides to protect Akuto <laughs> even though they boy. never met before this moment. <laughs> Akuto once again loses control and creates a magic explosion. After all of that, a mysterious person, called Korone, greets Akuto. Korone takes Akuto to see the principal of the academy. It is revealed that the principal instructed Korone to be Akuto's bodyguard and Redo keep him safe, crazy. but also track his behavior to see if he is becoming the evil demon king. The following day Akuto also meets Fujiko Ito, who promises to help him even if he is destined to become evil. Later mm. she tells Akuto to meet her in a distant part of the mountain where they can talk in private. Akuto and Korone make their way to the mountain when they are attacked by mutated demon dogs. Akuto uses his powers and absorbs the mana from the demon dog. This turns the demon dog to a cute puppy. The puppy manages to sniff out and detect Kina Soga who has been using an invisibility spell to hide her presence. Akuto manages to deactivate Korone as instructed by Fujiko, and he makes his way to the meeting place. There, Fujiko invites him to join the school's special committee as a way of clearing his name. She also gives him a special magic gun that if shot at someone, makes the two people connect and feel each other's true emotions. Oh, that's tough. That's, would y'all use that? If y'all could, would y'all use the gun on somebody? And who would it be if, if you did, bro? First, Chloe Bailey, step in front of the weapon, all right? I got I got to see. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> this is a way of handling Junko if she attacks him once again. As Akuto makes his way back to the school grounds, he is attacked by Kina who tackles him to the ground. At that moment, Korone activates once more and detects Kina. Korona <laughs> wants to inspect what happened and did Akuto turn evil and attack Kina. Facts, Akuto was and looking Kina at the agree gun, to no become facts. friends and they tell Korone that nothing happened. Elsewhere we see that Fujiko is in contact with Junko and is spreading lies that Akuto attacked her. Fujiko mm. goes into a secret dungeon inside her room, and there she talks to her brother's severed head about their plans for Akuto. Hiroshi and Akuto go to relax at the bathhouse. Her brother's what? What in a Futurama they got going on? House late at boy? night, where Hiroshi tells Akuto that there is a school underground scene which is where Junko became so popular. He would participate and organize underground fights. Fujiko sets up a meeting with Junko and Akuto the following day. Akuto also meets with all the members of the student council so that they can approve his application for committee representative. Akuto tries to deactivate Korone so that he can freely go and meet Junko. He tries pulling her tail but that doesn't work, so when Ki- Ho 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 ho! My boy! What you doing? You know what you doing? You gonna have to answer for that. Hold up. <laughs> if that's how you deactivate people, listen. 
where can I sign up to do the job of deactivations? All right, because you know what I'm saying. Tina shows up. She <laughs> drops her rice cooker on Akuto as a distraction. Finally, Akuto meets up with Junko, but it turns out that the whole thing was a setup for an ambush by various fighters from That's the crazy. underground. Akuto manages to beat every single one, and that is when Junko prepares to attack. Junko calls Akuto out in front of a lot of students. She presents his attacks as a way of showing everyone that he is turning evil. The students mm. chase after Akuto all around the school. He manages to evade them long enough for Kina to get involved and save him. Junko is called out and she admits that maybe she was mistaken. He tries to apologize for making all the students attack Akuto. The students who were with Junko then start attacking her for siding with Akuto. Korone comes at the last moment and defuses the situation by showering everyone with medicated rice. Hina tries her best to make Akuto and Junko become friends. They agree to try and be civil, but not a day passes before Akuto accidentally knocks Junko out during class. He Mitsuko then proposes that Akuto good, goes into a special to chamber to, to learn him. discipline. This chamber is feared by everyone at the academy as it is rumored that several people have died while being inside of it. Akuto is getting more sad and depressed because of the whole situation at the academy. He just wants to be left alone but somehow he gets dragged into exactly. an adventure with Korone and Kina. The three of them find a strange mysterious map, and Kina theorizes that it may just lead them to giant treasures. <laughs> Fujiko immediately recognizes what the map is, but she doesn't share it with the rest of the group. Mm. Kina makes several hundred copies of the map and shares them around the school. A lot of the students at the academy become fascinated by the map and go out trying to find the treasure. But more and more of those students return with injuries. <laughs> Akuto, acting as a member of the disciplinary committee, tries to make the students give up on the treasure chase so that no one else gets hurt. Facts. A girl called Aiko shows up who insists- you sound like a hero to me, alright? They keep trying to turn my man into a demon. It's on Akuto finding the treasure himself. Korone, Hiroshi, Aiko and Akuto make their way to the underground labyrinth that is located beneath the academy, where they manage to find the exact spot that was on the map. Suddenly, a mysterious being in a cloak shows up and attacks the group with a swarm of bats. The group manages to defeat the bats and the cloaked figure. Akuto then finds a recording device buried <laughs> under a tombstone which guides the group to an empty research facility. When they reach the facility they wonder what it really is. Their exploration is cut short when an armored statue attacks them. They manage to break it and inside of the statue Aiko finds a special screen that has specific directions to a shrine behind a cavern. They find the cavern and a hot spring as well. Kina, Fujiko and Junko also enter the labyrinth. During their exploration Junko accidentally falls down into the hot spring. She then accuses Aiko of being a spy for the government. Mm. Suddenly a giant wolf appears and attacks all of them but Kina and Fujiko arrive and save the group. During the battle Akuto lunges to protect Junko which makes Aiko cry as she feels betrayed by him. She gives Akuto the key to the shrine and leaves heartbroken. Fujiko takes the key and activates the shrine which teleports the group to the headquarters of the student council. It is revealed that the members of the student council were actually attacking the students who were chasing after the treasure. Also it seems that the student council headquarters is actually the base of operations of the demon king. Fujiko uses her brother's old items and she wakes up an ancient dragon monster called Peter Hassan. The dragon sees Fujiko and shows her the events that lead to her brother's death. This big, this big dragon name is Peter? What the heck? Uh, what the? Which makes Fujiko collapse from <laughs> sadness. Akuto then comes and attacks Peter Hossum, and with his immense power Akuto manages to become the new master of Peter Hossum. After the whole mm. situation has been cleared, the student council president kisses Akuto as his reward for finding the treasure which was a dragon. Akuto is now being watched by the government at all times which makes him depressed and lonely. He also isn't allowed to go to the school that is on a special island. After seeing him sad, Korone comes up with a plan. She tells Akuto that he is allowed to go to the beach school but he has to be careful and is responsible for his own actions. Peter Korone the then decides fast. to try to seduce Akuto but he manages to avoid her advances. Later, Akuto reaches the beach and tries to enjoy his time exploring and relaxing. But Kina and Korone constantly interrupt him with their pranks. Hiroshi appears and tells Akuto that the Demon King legend has a specific story that comes from this island. The legend states that when the dragon and demon king join forces, a chosen hero will arrive. This mm. legendary hero will defeat the demon king and save everyone. But Akuto doesn't believe this legend. Fujiko is confronted by a woman called Lily Shireishi who hero? works for the government. She informs her that the government has a very specific plan for Akuto. A flashback shows that some time in the past Hiroshi has learned that he was destined to become a great hero that will save humanity. In the present we see Korona is disappointed because she failed to seduce and manipulate Akuto. Hiroshi's younger sister, called Yukiko, meets Akuto to find out if he is truly the demon king. 
both Akuto and Hiroshi don't believe in their destinies and that disappoints Yukiko so much she runs off in tears. Hiroshi and Akuto talk and Hiroshi reveals that he has found out that beneath a giant lake there is a special shrine inside a cave. If you manage to find your way inside that cave, inside you will find a powerful sword and stone. Meanwhile, a mysterious man called Mr. X uses dark magic and awakens a legendary beast Yo, from the lake. Up in a this beast has the power boy. to consume mana from various magic users. Mr. X later captures Yukiko and fights both Kina and Hiroshi. Mr. X beats up Hiroshi and throws him inside the lake. On the other hand, Kina is captured. Akuto and Junko join forces and are able to free Kina and also save Yukiko. Mr. X then redirects the lake beast to go and attack the nearby village that is located on the island. He then uses <laughs> special anti-magic attacks that drain Akuto of his abilities. Akuto tries to figure out the source of Mr. X's powers and in the meantime Junko, Kina and Yuriko all attack Mr. X. Mm. Korone also joins the battle and stops several of Mr. X's attacks. Hiroshi swims through the lake and finds the cave where he enters to locate the shrine. He then pulls out the sword from the stone which gives him heroic powers that the legends foretold. This magical sword names Hiroshi the Brave One, and with special plasma attacks they attack and destroy the lake beast. Korone and Akuto talk and she admits that her goal was to seduce Akuto so that he develops intimate human relationships. Akuto and Kina hang out and he starts okay. to notice that she wears a very familiar hairpiece. Akuto thinks that he might have been the one that gave Kina that exact hairpiece back at the orphanage. Meanwhile, Fujiko is so determined that she also gains control of a powerful beast. She goes out and kills a slug beast and finds a demon beast egg. Kina starts to skip her classes more often, which that. worries Akuto. Several times, Akuto tries to convince Kina to attend. Bro, I was gonna say that he looked like Slim Uncle Ruckus, bro. He looked like Uncle Ruckus mixed with like Static Shock or something like that. I don't know. My man Wally. And more classes <laughs> as skipping out of school will hurt her grades. Akuto doesn't realize that his former adversary, Junko, has also fallen in love with him. Kina goes out and she finds Fujiko sleeping. She then steals her demon egg. Sometime later the egg hatches and out of it comes a chicken beast with two heads. Akuto sees the beast and That's tries crazy. to kill it. The chicken beast <laughs> is fast and manages to avoid all his attacks. Hiroshi then gets involved and with his powers he defeats the beast before it can destroy the city or the school. Korone and Junko talk, and Korone tries to make her feel better about her feelings towards Akuto. Korone gave Junko <laughs> advice to organize an omiai. This is a special custom where two potential partners meet about a marriage proposal. The process begins without Akuto even knowing about it, and Junko is nervous to tell him. She invites Akuto to her village by making up an excuse. Akuto has no clue what he is walking into, definitely not expecting to walk into a marriage interview. Akuto feels bad for everything he has done to Junko so he decides to help her with whatever she asks. When they arrive at the village Junko's younger sister Yuko comes to greet them. Yuko is a pop star idol who was attacked by a demon beast in the past, which in turn left her neck scarred. They get set up in the village and that night Junko prepares to tell Akuto why she invited him to her village. Junko gets upset which makes several of the villagers think that Akuto hurt her so they chase after him. Akuto runs- This man cannot catch a break, bruh. He can't! My man just wanted to go to school, bruh, and everybody gonna think he turned evil. And, and this tells you one thing, alright? Chat, listen. The women only love you when at the beginning of your villain arc, alright? They turned you into this, okay? Cause they like, why, why won't you be with me? You know what I'm saying? But they all know he's about to turn evil. All right? Y'all know this. He, he, he about to be the demon king. He's away but is then found by Aiko. She informs Akuto that the gods have decided that Kina is a threat and must be eliminated. Mm. Elsewhere at school, Kina is saved from an assassination attempt by Boakairo Yamato who is the leader of the cabinet intelligence magic office. He doesn't really care about Kina and he just wants to use her to defeat and control the gods. Akuto then creates a magic portal and transports himself to the school where he finds Yamato. But very soon he realizes that he is no match for him. Soon after, Fujiko has created a horde of demon beasts and now she has arrived at the academy to destroy it. The school is now under attack and Akuto has been wounded in battle with Yamato and he can't seem to be able to heal. Yamato's assistant, called 2V, goes to Aiko to start preparing the Triyua, and- What is this on the floor down here? Hold on, let me- I, I dropped something over here. Hold on. Uh, let me pick that up real quick. <clears throat> Alright, we can, we can start the video back now. And Hattori clan for their battle against the Demon King. Junko and Yuko fight against the Demon Beasts. Fujiko shows up and manages to save Kina and Akuto from Yamato and his attacks. They climb on her three-headed dog beast and together they make their way to the student the council headquarters. Akuto then summons Peter Hossen the dragon to stop the government. 
Junko and Yuko try to find the device that well, awakens know the Dragon means. Beast. Meanwhile, Akuto and Hiroshi face off against each other in battle. Suddenly from the air comes a giant ship that attacks Akuto. Lily arrives outside the academy grounds and prepares to fight off any attackers that want to kill the demon beasts. Yamato manages to kidnap Kina once more. Aiko uses Jiniko to protect herself and later orders her to attack Lily. Lily mm. is deep in the fight and while the enemy forces are overwhelming she still tries to defeat Aiko. 2v creates special puppets that fight against clan members which forces Lily to be on his side for the time being. Mm. After they defeat the clan members, Lily uses her ultimate attack against 2v but he <laughs> manages to escape without damage, and Akuto manages to survive the ship's attacks. Junko decides that she will fight alongside the Demon King because she loves him. She draws her family sword that was passed down to her by her grandmother and prepares for battle. Hiroshi and Akuto engage in a fierce battle in the sky. Both are almost evenly matched but in the end Akuto still manages to defeat Hiroshi. W Akuto makes. takes a knocked out Hiroshi down to the forest nearby for Yuko to care for him. Elsewhere, Yamato has taken Kina to a special shrine and there he tries to create a contract with a mythic being called Principle of Identity. Akuto arrives just in time to stop the process and the two fight and this time the gods are watching their duel. Yamato is strong but Akuto manages to defeat him once and for all. Akuto goat, then bro. takes Kina with him and leaves. Him. It is revealed that the Demon King was created by the god to solidify the contract with the principle of identity and destroy all Turbo life on good. Earth. Akuto refuses to accept his destiny once more and promises that he will kill the gods. The gods activate their defense systems. Akuto finds his courage and goes to battle against the gods, and with all his power he manages to stop their plan from coming true. Peter Hawson Dragon gives Kina a special dragon tooth as a gift because he expects to die soon. Akuto and Kina reunite with all their friends. The so my man ended up stopping the plan of the Demon King and, and, and Peter the dragon, right? Coming together. And, uh, but they said a hero was, so did he end up being a hero then? School is saved and everyone begins a new semester at the academy. Everyone who was involved in the battle with the Demon King and the gods has lost their memory of the events except Akuto, who is immune because he is the Demon King. Akuto is oh, happy so that he can finally have peace at school. But unfortunately that doesn't last long as it is once more revealed that he will become the Demon King in the future. The same events from the start happen again with Junko and every other student reacting the same way towards Akuto. He is sad that he will once again have to repair his reputation and make friends. And this brings the anime to an end. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. And Listen, my man could not catch a break, bro. He did all that. They, they thought he was going to become the Demon King, which he was, all right? But then he also was the hero to stop the whole thing, wiped everybody's memory, only to have to go through it again. That's the thing about prophecies. They're going to happen. Okay, uh, no matter how many t t twists and turns and delete buttons you hit, it's, it's going to happen. No, I'm going to have to watch this. I ain't going to lie. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, this got to be season one, though, because season two, they got to go into him going through everything again. Right. So y'all let me know if y'all watch this. But y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Would you watch this? Are you going to watch it? Have you watched it? I got questions. But uh, until the next time I see y'all, peace. Who said we ain't body tested, gang, and you'll get touched? She ride it, Kawasaki, roll my blunts and keep it quiet. Money is the motive, so we keep it on our mind. You get put in the stretch, it yellow tape, so he don't try.